Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope all you are doing well. Today's tutorial is based on style winding. So let's see. First we will see definition of a style winding. Style winding is used to set the style of few element. We can set the inline styles of an HTML element using the style winding in Angular. You can also add styles conditionally to an element, hence creating a dynamically styled element. The syntax of style winding is given in yellow background. You can see on my screen element. After that, we can write style dot style property and we will wrap this property inside a property winding. And after that, we will give value for our property. So let's execute some examples for style winding as mentioned below, through which this concept will be clear easily. First, we will see setting the background color of a paragraph. For that, I will open my Visual Studio Code. And inside that, I will open my parent HTML file and parent ts file here i will declare a h1 tag h2 tag inside that i will write hello everyone and hit enter button and save it let's check on browser the output it's there and now I will do here style winding with the help of syntax of style winding. Here I will write like style dot background color and wrap this property inside property winding and here I will give some value in the form of string like I will give here red and save it let's see what is the output refresh the page Yeah, the output is working correctly. Now we will see point number two, setting the units. For that, I'll declare one more tag like S3 and inside that, I will declare, sorry, I will declare same tag like H2 and inside that I will declare property or simply I will copy from here and paste it here and uh, I will set the font size of s2 tag like style dot font size dot vx and inside it I will give like in string I will give some value like 40 and here I will same write content like hello everyone and save it let's see what's the output yeah you can see the difference between first s2 tag and the second one the size is larger as compared to first one s2 tag the second point is also clear the third point is getting value from function for that i will create one function inside my ts file like get color and right here inside return string like green and I will call this function 
inside my style binding like same here I will declare or simply I will copy this tag again and paste it here and I will call here that function name get color yeah now save it and let's check the output you can see it's again working correctly now third point is also cleared the third fourth point is important conditionally setting the style for that um, we have to declare one variable li like uh, simply we can give here edit equal to error and with the help of conditions we can set value for HTML element like here I will give some value like here edit wait we have to mention this variable name inside our value like edit is equal to equal to symbol single quotes error and is not question mark in single quotes I will write one first color is red if the value is correct if not then it will be green okay now save it now initially the value of edit is error as shown in my ts file now let's see what is the output in browser here you can see the background color is red if I change here value of a variable like error then this condition is not matching then it will go for green color the second now you can see it's working correctly this this type of binding is called as condition based binding now we will see the last point is that setting multiple styles for that we can take same value copy here and after that paste it down and inside this element we can set multiple style binding like here if I simply copy from here this is also part of a style binding or second condition of style style binding sorry and here from also I will copy and paste let's see what is the output for this s2 tag you can see it's different as compared to other s2 tags so that is the example of our setting multiple style in a single HTML element so guys if you like the video then please like share and subscribe the channel and guys if you have any doubt then please feel free to ask through the comment box and leave your query and have a nice day thanks for watching my video